The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, we began the day with sunshine, but in the afternoon, you're seeing it right here on our Poor Mountain Sky Cam. We started to see more clouds rolling in, but the clouds we're seeing not producing any sort of showers were dry, just seeing a little bit of additional cloud cover. Look at the leaves. They are starting to change also on top of Poor Mountain, which leads me to tell you, Poor Mountain, you're not alone. Let's head on over to the weather computer and show you that we are indeed seeing some color being shown out across areas towards the mountains, areas along and to the west of the parkway right now seeing a little bit of color. So if you're watching us in Withville, Blacksburg, Covington, Hot Springs, Lexington, even Amherst and Lovingston, yes, indeed, you are starting to see some color happening in those trees. We're moving from green to some yellows and oranges and maybe even a little bit of red. Not quite the case, though, across South Side, where it's pretty green everywhere. Now, as far as when we see peak color around here, we usually see it in the Highlands and in the NRV in mid-October. So within about the next couple of weeks or so, that's when you're really going to start to see the color popping towards the higher elevations in Roanoke and Lynchburg usually happens in late October and in South Side peak foliage usually happens as we head into early November. Here's a look at what we're seeing outside right here right now here locally. Things are indeed very, very quiet. However, as we expand the picture for you, let's see where it is raining and, and it's not easy to find the rain around us because simply put, it's pretty much dry everywhere. You'll notice that we do have a little bit of rain offshore of the Carolinas. We're seeing a little bit of rain out, say, towards Nebraska and also into Iowa, but those showers are far, far away from us. So we're going to be dry here for Wednesday. We're going to be dry here Thursday. Our next cold front is indeed this guy right here. That's what's going to impact us here late Friday, Friday night into early Saturday, providing us our next best chance to see a little bit of rain. Could we have a rogue little shower into our far southwesternmost counties this evening? It's possible, but for the most part, I think we're pretty dry. Wednesday, we'll start out with some patchy fog. Otherwise, we're mainly sunny, and we're going to be mainly sunny all day long on Wednesday. Now, as we look at Thursday, Thursday will start bright and sunny, but by Thursday afternoon, clouds will start to build for us a little bit. So clouds may thicken a touch for us here on Thursday. Thursday, we'll probably see a little more cloud cover than Wednesday, but all day Thursday, we're dry. As we look at Friday, Friday looks to be for the most part dry too until we head later in the day. Okay, so temperature stand right now 70 in Hot Springs, 76 in Withville, 80 in Roanoke, also in Danville, 77 Lynchburg. Hot spot right now, South Boston, you're at 82. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone, 79 in the NRV, 80 in the Highlands. That would be Covington, Clifton, Forge. You're a little bit cooler northbound on 220. 83 in Roanoke and Lynchburg, 84 tomorrow, South Side. Those numbers didn't change much from yesterday. Tomorrow looks to be almost a carbon copy of temperatures for today. Now, enjoy the warmth if you're a fan of warmth because big changes are coming our way this weekend. For one, we're going to have a cold front swinging through here. For two, the jet stream is going to take a big old dip to the south. So a shot of fall air arrives for us here Saturday, Sunday with highs failing to get out of the 60s. The highest elevations may fail to get out of the 50s, so we're going to be coldest along the mountain chain. For tonight, we are mainly calm, may have some areas of fog. Otherwise, skies are going to, I think, turn mainly clear as we head uh, beyond sunset. Overnight lows tonight, about 52 to 57 for the day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine going to be warm. High temperatures in the mountains, 70s outside the mountains. You're in the 80s. Extended forecast showing temperatures in the upper 70s on Thursday, Friday. Then we're 63 to 69 Saturday through Tuesday. Again, Friday may have some rain showers, especially very, very late in the day. Friday night into Saturday morning, some lingering showers will be possible. Later Saturday into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we are dry once again. So one little fly in the ointment as far as rain is concerned, and that will happen for us late Friday, Friday night into early Saturday. That's the only chance for rain here over the next seven days.